Hello guys, I'm Rolf Fallen, and today I'm gonna teach you how to no comply 360 flip. It's also called sprawling. This is one of my favorite tricks to do. It's actually a warm up trick. You can do it anytime. It really, really helps getting confidence if you haven't skated for a long time, if you, you know, are not feeling like you're landing tricks. This is a perfect trick to get you back in the mood. Basically, what you want to do, you know, is learn how to pop the board from the ground, okay? That's the most important thing to do at the beginning. So you're like right here, and you gotta be able to pop it like that. So now for the foot positioning, guys, it's really important that you understand it's a trick of pressure, okay? So you gotta really have to put your feet in a position where you feel comfortable putting enough weight in your feet to be able to make the board come off the ground, okay? So you see my left foot is right here, you know, closer to the nose. That helps you control the board a little better. And the back foot, it's in an area like right here in the corner, okay? You see your toes are kind of way off the board, you know, because it's all kind of like under your feet, the pressure, you know, like right here where you have your big callus, that's going to be really, really important. And you see my left foot has the heel almost on the ground because that's what's going to make it rotate. The last thing is going to be what do you want to do when it comes down to putting your feet on the ground? Some people like to do the extra step and catch it with their front foot. That's the one I like to do. I think it looks a little bit cooler. It's almost like a tray flip and you catch it with your front foot. But there are others that like to bring the foot down and then right away bring the back foot almost like the very popular no complies where there's only one foot off the ground. So that's really up to you. I can do it both ways. It also depends if you pop your ball really high, then you may want to add that extra step. But if you do it kind of quick and fast, then you may want to put just one foot off the ground, then jump with your back foot. Some of the problems of this trick, the first one could be that you over rotate it. Remember, you got to be able to put the right amount of strength on your back foot so that the board rotates correctly. If you do it too hard, you may be doing it like 540, and that one requires a little bit more time, more skill. I believe you will need to have the tr trade no complies unlock before you kind of go to that trick. But you just gotta feel it. You gotta put the toes in the right spot, okay? And another problem could be that the board is not flipping correctly, right? Like you could do like a monster flip or it could kind of go in a weird motion. In order to fix that, what I do is I always go back to the beginning and I always go on the ground and then I pop it and make sure that it goes again in that same rotation. Well, hopefully guys, this video helped you land it. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put them down below. Thanks again for watching and keep shredding.